In this problem, we're asked to determine the proportion of pregnancies that last less than 240 days. And we're told that pregnancies are, the length of pregnancies are normally distributed with a mean of 260 and a standard deviation of 16 days. We're going to show two different approaches to solution here. The first is to just sketch a normal distribution, but not standard normal this time. Instead, it's going to be normal with a mean of 260 and, well, a standard deviation of 16. That's really not easy to see from the picture, but that's okay. Now, the proportion of pregnancies less than 240 is equal to the area below the normal curve, this particular normal curve, to the left of 240. And so all we need to know is that area right there. And Excel actually has a function built in that'll tell us exactly that. So let's go ahead and take a look at Excel. We'll pull that up, we'll go with A1 here and go to the function browser. And if we scroll down, Notice there's a function called norm dist here, so we're going to use that. Now that's not norms dist like we've already seen, but norm dist without the s because it's not standard normal anymore. It uh, will take uh, any normal distribution. So we tell it the x value first. Remember that was 240, and then we have to tell it the mean, 260. The standard deviation is 16, and we always want to say cumulative uh, is true. That's our choice is true or false true will give us the area to the left of x equals 240 below the curve, exactly what we want. False just gives us the height of the density function, which really isn't of any use to us at all. Now you can actually see, it's in small print here, but there's the value, but instead of trying to read it there, let's stick it back in the spreadsheet. It turns out to be 0 0.1056, so 10.56 percent. Okay, and remember, that's 10.56% of pregnancies are less than 240 days. So there's the answer right there. That's one method of solution. The method that's demonstrated in the textbook actually involves standardizing. And the reason you might want to do this is if you didn't have a nice function like this in Excel and all you had was a standard normal table uh, to compute probabilities. So let's go ahead and just take a quick look at how that would be done. So we start with the exactly the same sort of inequality, so x less than 240. And the first thing we do is standardize. So on both sides of the inequality, we're going to subtract the mean and then divide by the standard deviation. So this inequality here is equivalent to just saying x minus 260 over 16. Okay, minus the mean divided by the standard deviation is less than 240 minus 260 over 16. All right, if you do a bit of simplifying, well first, this side is standard normal. If you take anything that's normally distributed, subtract its mean and divide by a standard deviation, you get something that's standard normal. So that's now z. Remember, that's our standard normal symbol. Uh, over here on the right side, this is negative 20 divided by 16, and that's really minus 1.25. So now we can use norms dist, right? Because if we think of asking, okay, what proportion of z values are less than minus 1.25, it's going to be exactly the same as the proportion of x values that are less than 240. So the picture in this case looks again like a normal distribution, but now it's going to be standard normal. I'll put a z here. Here's 0, and minus 1.25 right there. And so what we're interested in again is this area right here. Well, it's going to turn out to be exactly the same area as before, and we can see it. Let's pull up Excel here and try it. So if we go to the function browser, go down. Now we're going to use norms dist because it's standard normal. Okay, and remember for norms dist, you just have to tell it z. So it's just minus 1.25. Hit OK, and sure enough, it's exactly the same thing. And it really has to be because all we've done is standardize from one normal distribution to standard normal, and they're going to produce the same area either way. Okay, so again, we get the area equals uh, 0.10, oops, I've already forgotten, what is it, 1.1056, excuse me.